The next thing is we'll try to see the application of this Bing AI to writing computer codes because it has taken writing codes with this uh, AI tools have been upgraded and taken to the next level. Now you can write different kind of codes depending on the area of expertise, whatever it is, and using different languages. You can write computer codes for MATLAB, for C++, for even Python or R. You can write the computer codes here and run it and you can just copy and go to your platform okay whatever platform you're working on and then you can run it directly and you see the results so for example let's give an example you can ask it to write any simple code for example let's say can you write a python code to solve the area of a circle with radius 5 for example and we can just hit on enter and let's see what it's going to write for us okay sure i can write a python code to solve the area of a circle for you so pi is 3.14 and then this is the radius you specified and then this is the code okay so all you need to do is just to copy this code and go and run it to your in your own platform so you can just uh, go ahead copy the code okay and just copy it and maybe you can come to your python platform uh, python online python online python.com so you can just paste this for example, you just paste the code, come over here and say run. And it's going to run this. Okay. So the area of the circle is with radius 5 is 78.5. So you can see the answer directly. Okay. So you can see you can run any, can write any computer code and you, you can be able to, to run it directly from there. So you can even ask it to write, help you write a quadratic, uh, write a MATLAB code to solve quadratic equation. I just ask you to write a MATLAB code to solve a quadratic equation and it's going to write the code for you. Only that you need to specify some of the variables like the A, B, C, you need to define all that. Okay, so you can, if it has even given you an example of A equals to 1, B equals to minus 5, and C equals to 6, you can fill the discrepancy. So you can see the steps, the various steps it can give you. Okay, it has taken the steps. You can see the way the, the result is and then give you X1 and X2. You can see everything is being stated over here so all you need is just to copy this entire code and go to your matlab and just paste it and run it so you can write anything okay you can write anything you can write computer code for anything so you can say for example can you write python code to calculate the discharge capacity of a spillway of a dam spillway so you can see the discharge capacity of a dam spillway so let's just hit an enter it's going to be a python code to calculate the discharge capacity of a dam spillway so you can see sure i can write a python code to calculate the discharge capacity of a dam spillway here is one possible solution for example it has given you an example the length of the spillway in meters is 100 and the height is 10 and then the acceleration due to gravity is this so you can calculate the discharge using this formula so it has given you the formula over here so all you need is just to input this formula and you'll have print this result and it's going to give you q directly so if your question or if the parameters are different for you you can just go ahead and change this, these parameters and ask it to rewrite the code for you you can just copy go to your matlab and paste it and run and it's going to run successfully so this is actually how to use this very new Bing AI to write computer codes and in cases when you write wrong codes also it can help you to debug that the code is wrong the code is wrong and it can help you to write it and make it better so if you write a comp complete computer code and then it's there's somewhere somehow you've you wrote something wrong or something is wrong and the code cannot run this can debug and tell you exactly where the problem is and it can rewrite the code for you so it can run again on your computer so you can see how powerful and exceptional this can be when it comes to the advancements in the tech world so all you need is just to take advantage of it try to see how you can use it to write complex computer codes that you can run on your computer and you have your results perfectly so i think that does it for this tutorial on how to basically use it to write computer codes using different languages i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one